Hey everybody, this is Sil. Welcome again to another edition of Highlights, our key trading and active investing strategies. Uh, we're going to look over uh, essentially intraday charts and uh, candles. So not so long ago, we had a, a morning trade setup, something we do on a regular basis uh, in our mycandlecharts.com site for our members, giving trade suggestions. And so back for the 5th of July, there was a long setup, at least starting we were looking for something to develop it wasn't quite ready yet for the new zealand u.s pair on the long side looking for something to set up in the vicinity of this support area so it came up aggressively paused briefly came up higher uh, just showed some minor sell signals essentially nothing strong we were looking simply for a pullback and continuation from this area on up higher again so again nothing was really set up that well just yet we are looking for setups ideally you want to look at intraday charts for additional clues as it comes into that support area to get confirmation of when to enter at a more precision buy area so let's drop this down from a daily chart to a 60 minute chart so now you can see that i've dropped this down to a 60 minute chart uh, really nothing demonstrating per se a time to get in on the long side just yet things were still developing there's the appearance of support here which was coinciding but nothing real apparent or aggressive and these highs are not really being challenged very well so we had to wait so as we progressed forward you'll see this is the fourth and this was like i said initially for the fifth let me move that out of the way so price action is moving and there's really nothing in terms of candle formations just yet that's aggressive enough or proper enough so you can see a nice reversal on a piercing at near support but nothing earth shattering once again and again you've got at least short term the appearance of a declining series of highs and lows that one needs to still pay attention to this came up then this is coming back down so you just have to pay attention uh, and wait for a good strong overall chart pattern and also a candle pattern so you can see those highs are still getting challenged probably a little bit better set up here in terms of a series of lows here and then here and then at higher lows so possibility of something developing here on the sixth a couple days after what we were looking for but again we progress further now you see the sell-off coming back down retesting the lows also retesting our first zone or area of support again not a strong bullish candle here to confirm anything just yet if anything we're looking for maybe a breakout above or we're looking for something strong down below from the standpoint of combination of candle and overall chart pattern so we keep going waiting very patiently as we should now the bulls are starting to show signs of life they are attempting to break free you can see the upper shadows and decision in decision making they come up they pause briefly they come hard and then they get paused horizontally but also based on a diagonal trend line so they're they're coming back and they're coming around and they're showing signs of life but they're not quite there yet there again large upper shadow but they cannot seem to really mount any real attack again we're either looking to buy lower on a strong reversal pattern or we're looking for a breakout and a hold above that area and so far we haven't seen anything and again we're remaining patient through a few days of trades following the initial signal to consider this as a trade setup so again price action going sideways the highs are still going in a declining manner but they're at least holding reasonably well meaning that this is still going down but this is at least not coming all the way back down to the lows as of yet but if they cannot hold we might be looking for this to come down and then looking for a better signal down low which would be fine It'd be a final flush which is what happens actually here you can see now that they flush lower they keep going lower and they're going right into that next level of support we talked about that we'd be looking for a buy so now we really start looking once again for that setup here it is now we've got a hot of me right here no big deal that's usually a slowdown of selling and we have a strong reversal so now that's a good sign this is beginning again where the buyers the the, the bulls are stepping in and here they come even more aggressively and then this is now where things start to get juicy so now what are we seeing think about the bigger scale you're seeing a drop you're seeing a lower and you're seeing a higher low so it's an inverse head and shoulders formation so you could be looking at here to anywhere in here for a breakout and that would be going to the long side now that you've got this hot of me and strong bullish reversal coming back up at least breaking this short-term trend yeah there was this before but all that now 
is going to be uh, looking very positive based on intraday charting and the candle formations going forward. So we're going to have a little bit more evidence. If you're not quite convinced of that, you're going to see that uh, it starts to pause. And there's the ultimate breakout. And as I just showed you a moment ago, there was essentially a neckline in through here. And so there was a nice test. And there's the series of up and then there's the breakout. So now that it's broken out of here, maybe a retest, but also maybe there's a breakout of this. Again, depending on your comfort level and your trading style, you're just looking for whatever pattern you might be looking for. So there's the breakout aggressively. There's the hold of that breakout and neckline near 72.50. And then you're going to see that there's the retest now with a hammer. And that's when things really get much, much better once again. So certainly enjoyed and looked at this part really, really well. That was excellent. Hotomy formation, not a big deal initially, but a good confirmation. And the overall chart pattern itself confirmed and, and certainly coincided. We then had a breakout aggressively and a retest of that breakout area with a hammer. So that, again, further clues. So this was the 12th and then not quite going into the 13th. So on the 12th was most of the signals. You had one signal. Well, 11th for sure on the 12th, and then eventually again on the 12th, and then ultimately the big breakout on the 13th. So let's switch on over now to um, the daily. But before I do that, real quick, as I said, one if one was waiting for a breakout above that trend line, then you'd be looking for right here, and you would have been looking for that as well. Hammer formation breakout. So you could have entered here. You could have entered in here. You could have entered down below, depending, again, on how aggressive a trader you were. All the candle formations and chart patterns were coinciding with the support area we had identified already on the daily chart. Let's go over to the daily once again. So back to the daily where we started, and now that's what we were looking at, looking for a drop in price. And there was some attempts. You can see the lower shadows, attempts for the uh, bulls to step in, and they just did not have enough. They even tried there with the upper shadow. just could not sustain. But as I said earlier, that was the area where the highs were declining and the you could see the buyers were trying to step in. They lost a little footing and immediately regained it. And this is, uh, if you look at the dates, this was the 11th going into the 12th. And I said most of the action we saw was based on that lower shadow, that inverse head and shoulders, and then the price action going higher on the 12th. Thereafter, there was the breakout. And there was a re slight retest right there on that lower shadow. So depending, again, on how aggressive of a buyer you were, you had several attempts either on a daily or intraday based on candle formations to look at a trade that would have taken you higher and proved very, very positive on uh, this breakout higher. So all of this to give you a little guidance and information that we have intraday courses available in our CandleChartsAcademy.com site. So once you log in to the site and you've actually had a purchase of something, you'll see that as you scroll down, you're going to have special topics training that Steve did that covers the secrets of intraday candlesticks or intraday charts right here. So there's that. Plus, we did something much larger. We did an actual course, two-part series on intraday charting and mastery. And it's not necessarily day trading. It can be, as you just said, just precision entry. And it can be done based on the concept of weekly down to daily and maybe a 240 or 60-minute chart. It can also be based on a daily to 60, 30, and 15-minute chart. It can also just be simply and purely intraday trading and day trading as well. So intraday charts and candle patterns have nothing to do necessarily with just day trading, but also swing trading, any other method of trading you have as well. So uh, check out the specials that we have going on intraday charts and mastery, as well as the intraday candlesticks and how they can be effective in your everyday trading as well. Thanks for joining me for this new special highlights edition. And we look forward to seeing you and giving you some new information the next time.